Hi everyone, this quick video should be a beginner friendly tutorial on how to set up FastKeys automation software for the first time after installing. Installation is extremely simple and quick. Simply select the next button several times to confirm all the defaults. Finish. And there we have it. It's a good idea to view the quick tips first. This will open our documentation page with a simple guide. FastKey's main window will open and here you'll see some example settings for you to try. You also get some tips after closing the window for the first time. From now onwards, FastKey's is always active but running quietly in the background, discreetly waiting for you to expand your shortcuts whenever you need them. And how to open the main window again to add some settings? Simply press F8 on the keyboard. Or click the Fast Keys tray icon in the bottom right here. Now sometimes you don't see the icon right away because it's grouped with other icons. In this case, click the up arrow first and then drag the icon into the system tray like this. It will make it permanently visible. Try also right-clicking the icon to get a convenient menu for performing some quick tasks. Okay, great. Now it's time to try the provided examples. There are different modules on the left, but I'll try the text expander first. I have my editor opened on the right, and it'll simply try the first item from the list, typing the abbreviation KR. And this expanded into kind regards. Trying another one, SIG. Great. Now I'll double click the item in fast keys to open it and see how it's configured. I see the abbreviation string is defined here and the expanded text is defined in this box. Very simple, right? Start with the easy ones at the beginning, and then gradually explore the possibilities. Let's try this one, CME. Okay, what's that? This is a pop-up, which asks me to enter information before finalizing the phrase. How do I do that? Again, just open the phrase and see the specific fields? Those are macros. Double click on a macro to open its setting. See, here I can make a list of pre-configured selections for the pop-up. Really easy. This way, you can learn the basic techniques very fast with no effort. Just look at the examples. And when you're not sure, simply press the F1 on your keyboard to see the online help about that feature. Another thing. Check the preferences by clicking this gear icon. Here you can adjust how fast keys is working. I can set the language like this. And here I can change the default shortcut to open the main window if I don't like F8 to do the job. I hope you liked this quick tutorial. We have many other tutorials online. Check them out to learn more about fast keys. Thanks so much. And by the way, I'm Milo Shapiro with publicdynamics.com. If you like the way I explain things, I help people with their public speaking skills all the time. Check me out at publicdynamics.com. Thanks and take care.